Section 7. The diagram shows the plan of a floor. The area of the floor is 138 meters squared and we're asked to work out the value of x. Now normally when we're dealing with area problems in this case with an L shaped what we can do is work out the area of a rectangle say this size a full rectangle and then I could work out the area of a smaller rectangle this missing piece which I'll show you here so this missing piece here and what I can do is take away the area of say this rectangle take it away from the total area of the full rectangle like so take it away and that will leave me with the area of the full shape so I'm going to work towards that so thinking about the full sized rectangle a completed rectangle if you will it would be 15 meters times by the total distance along here which if we can see if that's 8 and that's 3 that means the full distance here must be 11 meters so that the the big rectangle would be 15 times by 11 when you work that out you're going to get 165 meters squared now what we're going to do is work out the area of this smaller rectangle here and we're going to take it away so the area of this rectangle that i'm shading in here is going to be x times 3 meters squared so x times 3 which is going to be 3x meters squared so that means the total area or the area of the shape given must be the 165 subtract the 3x but it also told me in the question that this area should be 138 so that must be equal to 138 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation okay so first and foremost I'm going to subtract 165 from both sides And doing so, let's see, would be from 140 to 165 would be 25, so it must be 27. But remember, this is bigger than this, so it's equal to negative 27. So negative 3x is negative 27, and we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. And we should get our answer that x must be equal to 9 because a negative divided by a negative is always positive so x equals 9 and that should be good for our four marks